Hey, what's up? Jigsaw here. Want to connect Siri with ChatGPT 4.0 on your iPhone so it can give you better answers and do more? In this video, I'll show you the process of how to set it up on your device. Let's go. Currently, Apple doesn't natively integrate ChatGPT with Siri. However, you can use third-party apps like Shortcuts to connect the two. This functionality works on any iPhone running iOS 12 or later. To set this up, first, download the ChatGPT app from the App Store. Create or sign into a ChatGPT account. The free plan is sufficient. To successfully use ChatGPT services with Siri on your iPhone, you must create a shortcut to start a new conversation with that ChatGPT app. Whenever you run this shortcut using Siri, it will initiate a new chat with the ChatGPT app. Open the Shortcuts app on your iPhone and tap on the plus icon from the top right corner. By default, it is named as New Shortcut. Rename it by clicking the downward arrow. Don't use the term ChatGPT because Siri won't recognize it. Now, tap on the search action and type ChatGPT in the search bar at the top. Here, choose Start Voice Conversations with ChatGPT and click on Done. You can invoke the shortcut by clicking it in the app or saying, Hey Siri, followed by the shortcut's name. You can also add the shortcut to the action button or the back tap gesture on your iPhone. If your iPhone has an action button like iPhone 15 to 16, you can configure it to trigger the ChatGPT4 shortcut with a simple press. For iPhones without an action button, you can use the back tap feature to launch ChatGPT4. Here's how to set it up. Go to the Settings app on your iPhone and select Accessibility. Within the Accessibility settings, navigate to the Touch menu. Scroll down until you find the back tap option and select it. In the back tap settings, choose whether you want to activate ChatGPT4 with a double tap or a triple tap and then assign the ChatGPT4 shortcut you created earlier. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about the video or other problems with your Apple device, leave a comment below. See you next time. Bye.